What's up guys, I Apple Tuber here and today I have a very interesting video for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to fix the disable button on the entry work. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So when you go to your entry work, even if you have the profile, you see it says disabled. For a fact, I know some devices do not have this issue, but apparently as you can see, my device has this issue as well. So it says disabled, even though I have the profile installed on my device. But if you're new to this, don't know how to install, you just want to click on install profile right there. You want to click on allow, take it here, click on install, enter your device, password, install, done. As you can see, I already have this. Let me go back. Let me go to my settings just to prove you guys. So right here, as you can see, enter revoke. Go ahead and as you can see, guys, I already have the profile on my device. But still, I have the disable button, which means it's not working, which is a big issue for right now. That means it's not going to protect my apps. How to fix this? Very easy, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So, if you want to go to the description, click on this app, take it to the app store, guys. It's a VPN. So, first thing important, don't have any other VPN installed on your device other than that profile for the anti revoke. So, you want to have the anti revoke and this VPN robot only, or else it's not going to work. So, go ahead and install it. Let me go ahead and install it. It's free, 100% working as well. Very quick as well, install right there. Go ahead and click on open. When you open it, guys, simple. You want to click on allow right here, let it load, then click on allow once again, let it load here. As you can see, I only have anti revoke profile here. So, let me go ahead and install this settings as well. Right there, my device is connected. Now, let's go back to anti revoke. Let me go ahead and refresh the page right there. And right there, as you can see, guys, it's enabled right there. It's working. And let me go ahead and refresh it once again just to prove you guys it's still enabled. And right there, guys, still enabled. Now, how to check if it's working? You want to go to a new page and search for this. It's ocsp.apple.com right there. So search that. And right there, guys, if you get this logo right here, that means your anti revoke is working. So two things to confirm that's working, the enabled text and also this logo confirms that the anti-revoke is working on your device. And let's go back to the page once again, refresh it for the last time just to prove you guys it's working right there as you can see guys enabled and that logo was there as well. So a few notes to take in consideration. First thing first, install that anti-revoke if you don't have it. Second of all, install that VPN, only have anti-revoke and VPN in your VPN settings, that only. If you have other VPNs, go ahead and delete the app for the time being. Next important thing, if you turn off your VPN, it will again go ahead and say disable. So it's important to have your VPN if you want to protect your apps. If you don't care about your apps, just go ahead and turn it off. But if you do care about your apps and that's why you're watching this video, then you want to have your VPN turned off. But yeah, guys, that's it with today's video. I hope that you guys found it helpful. So please make sure to like this video. Make sure to also share this video on other platforms and also make sure to subscribe to the channel with your notifications so you don't miss videos like this. Hope you guys have a great day. I, Apple Tuber here, signing off.